Last night, Warren gave a blistering critique of Donald Trump's position on the housing and financial markets. This, of course, is an issue that is near and dear to her heart and her platform. It was laden with insults and withering Trump-style mockery. What kind of a man roots for people to get thrown out of their house? What kind of man roots for people to get thrown out of their jobs? To root for people to lose their pensions? To root for two little girls in Clark County, Nevada to end up living out of a van? What kind of a man does that? I'll tell you exactly what kind of a man does that. It is a man who cares about no one but himself. A small, a small, insecure money grubber who doesn't care who gets hurt so long as he makes a profit off it. Donald Trump is worried about helping poor little Wall Street. Let me find the world's smallest violin to play a sad, sad song. Note to the Clinton campaign, please give her what she wants. She's better at this than yeah. most Any, Democratic candidates. Yeah. Just, come on now. Yeah. Just a headline, though, from National Review, May 27, 2015. Because <laughs> I had heard this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had all heard this. And so, headline, Elizabeth Warren bought foreclosed homes to make a quick profit. Uh, May 27th, 2015, before the crash that she blamed on speculators, Senator Elizabeth Warren made a bundle by flipping houses. So did Good she recall, say, yeah. I really hope I'd, that I'd, they foreclose I'd, I'd that. so that I can flip and make a lot of money? No, I, I mean, I think I, that's the, the bigger... I well, think the problem here is I that... I would buy a foreclosed... The problem here is, like, Trump was actually making fairly uh, decent political, I mean, totally business not. sense when he said that, but it was just the inhumanity of rooting for people's... Uh, homes to be foreclosed upon to make a profit that's jarring. Uh, I, I don't think anyone has said that in politics other than him. He, he didn't say when he was in politics. Well, I think the way he's, uh, the way he's tried to walk it back in, in, uh, the other night is it was what you said. I think when you go back to what he originally said back in 05 or 06, whenever that was, that was really pretty ugly. You yeah. know, the thing is, though, Willie, they're not going to turn, they're just not going to turn Donald Trump into Mitt Romney. That's what they're trying to do. I understand why they're trying to do it. Just not going to do it because he is a man without shame. Go, yeah, of course I said that. I like making yeah. money. Of course I gave money to Hillary Clinton. Republicans, she was in power. Of course I have a car man. elevator. I need I want to make money. Right. You got a problem making money? Well, know. you're a communist. He takes that stuff all away because he's yeah. so upfront but about it. But Elizabeth not Warren's attack was searing. Yeah, I don't know yeah. that to people who like Elizabeth Warren. At no, work. actually. No, uh, it's not. no I think. Uh, uh, I, I he think likes Hillary Clinton, okay? But, You're for Hillary Clinton. I'm for Hillary Clinton, okay. but I think Elizabeth Warren is going to be a great wingman for Hillary Clinton when we get in this campaign because she can say this kind of stuff that, he, that Hillary Clinton really can't, and it really, I think it resonates. It, the, yeah, it, you know it what? Works. It's just like, just like David hmm? Ignatius, it, it worked when Marco Rubio insulted Donald totally Trump. Totally different too. scenario. I don't, you know, Trump, let's just, well, let's yeah, just, look, so at, let's just what, look at the, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He didn't insult him over, over his housing uh, investments. He let's insulted just him look, over something yeah, else. It got, it, it got personal. David Ignatius, <laughs> let's, get personal. let's look at, um, again, attacking Mitt Romney versus attacking Donald Trump. One uh, is a guy who was a target and the entire organization became brutal when it happened. The other ran right to the attacks and, and started throwing the arrows back. You know, I, I still think that, that Trump, uh, because he's refused to release his taxes, be, is going to be a sitting target that people will be able to chip away at. Every week we'll get some new small revelation. Turned out he didn't pay any taxes in the 70s, we're discovering. Well, we'll learn more about what, the structure of the companies that, that, that produce that result. More little bits will come and, out And what week. impact and do you I, think the idea that, that will have? Because, because you know Donald will. Trump will go, hey, I'm a great businessman. I use every law I can in my favor. I will be that shrewd for you when I just, get elected. Just, just as in this video clip that you played, he'll say, he'll say, well, you know, I, I don't root for, for people to get 
uh, ruin. But uh, yeah, I'm a businessman. When the market goes down, I buy. And you know, people take that away, and you know, the head scratching. Well, I didn't pay any taxes because you know, oh, why should I pay? Yeah, another another little head scratch. And I just think there's going to be a con con continual uh, drumbeat of these things. As reported, the press is really out there looking at this stuff now. Finally, I promise you. Here's and so you, so we're going to get many, many more of these. And I just can't imagine that each of the bah, dismissals uh, is going to, in the end, prevail. <laughs> David Ignatius, you know what Trump supporters do best? Ah, what? <laughs> ah, that motion that you did. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.